All right, we're right here on the Paseo, just across from Owl's Liquor. St. Francis is right there. We're three houses in from St. Francis. It's got a nice big uh, coyote fence around the front and then uh, two parking spots back to back, off street, no garage though. Here's what the rest of the streetscape kind of looks like. Uh, that's Allerid Street, the next one up past Lolita. If you take a left on Allerid and actually go past Allerid and then past the school and you're at the rail yard. So you're, you're at the rail yard in just a couple minutes. <clears throat> that gate is an, another gate that goes into the front yard. Looks more like this is the main entrance. Mailbox. Uh, little section for a tree. Probably should be for trash cans. Uh, it's nice because it has this big uh, metal gate, metal security gate, and then another door. So with that, this whole property is completely fenced, mostly with coyote fence. There's a little bit of jib jab over there, but mostly it's coyote fence. So this house is sitting back in the far back of the lot. So the back of the house is right up against the lot line in the back, but it leaves you with this nice big front yard here, which has, you know, some trees and stuff, uh, you know, some landscaping maybe try to buffer the sound of the road, but it's really not that loud inside the house. A little bit of a deck here, and then a separate entrance into one of the bedrooms, which I'll show you in a minute. Actually, the stucco is not terrible. You know, the windows probably could all be replaced. Um, I'm noticing some exterior woodwork and stuff that definitely needs some attention. Uh, there's clearly uh, been signs of leaks inside the house, but the roof itself, Looks pretty new, so I'm wondering if they actually addressed that and put just went ahead and put a new roof on it uh, to stop it from leaking. So that's kind of like a front sunroom. I'm gonna finish the outside and then I'll go in the inside. So here's what I'm telling you know, it's not really rotted, but definitely needs to be stained and painted. So you got a nice little cinder block or concrete wall with flagstone on top. The, that's the fruit tree right there. Maybe an apple or something, and then a couple of elms back along there. And then it's got this wood deck. Um, and then uh, French doors right there, going into the living room. You got your gas meter right there. Uh, electric panel and electric meter. Of course, the meter is gone. All the utilities are off. And they're not turning them on, by the way. <sighs> and I cannot get that open. It's one of those weird ones. These windows back here actually look newer. Those three along there look okay. And then you have like this storage box here, which is not in really good condition. It looks like it's just got a little tin roof thrown on top of it. That one definitely has some more stucco issues. Coming around the back, again, it's got gutters. You know, it's got some drainage built in. Oh wait, no, hold on. I take it back. I thought that was a thought that was a drain, but it's a vent that fell off. Um, these back windows look all right. Uh, there's a hot water heater probably in there, but I don't have the key to it. And then let me swirl around here a little bit. <sighs> Another new ur window. That's a pitch roof on this side. Solid, it's right up against the fence, but that's okay. I mean, it's gonna make it a little harder to work on stuff on this side of the house, but at least you got it fully fenced in already. There's a bunch of broken glass back here. I don't know what that's from, because all these windows are intact. Uh, let's see if I can, 